What is one thing that you a take away from last week that might help other traders? Well, I mean, a big thing that keeps repeating itself in the trading room and through my journey as a trader is is what we want. Like, what do we want as a trader? Why do what, why do we even go through through trading as a way to make money? And if you ask that question to a hundred traders, they all come up with most likely just one answer. It's say, hey, I want the freedom. I want the ability to control my time, and I want to make a lot of money. And so, why is it? You know, 97% of all traders fail. I think it really comes to the type of questions you ask yourself. So if you ask yourself, you know, why am I here? I want to make money. I think you become part of the 97%. But if you ask yourself another question is, when it comes to trading, how do I fail? And how do I reverse engineer it? then truly you start digging into what's going to make you successful in the long term. So, you know, if, for example, if you're struggling with blowing up accounts, especially if you're part of Apex or any funded account experience, you'll find out that oversizing is one of those big things that once you start oversizing uh, against the capacity of the account to hold on, uh, you find yourself going through more blowout than you should. So, so how do you fail? It's oversizing. How do you reverse engineer it? Understand what an account can handle. For example, a $50,000 account on Apex has $2,500 worth of risk capital. Divide that by 25. You will get $100 per trade. Size up to where you can take advantage of a signal and re by reducing uh, by reducing noise in that signal and taking a signal that has high probability but has a risk control of $100 then you have 25 trades in a row that has to go against you in order for you to blow up well guess what you just did right there you gave yourself a chance to win okay by giving by managing your account correctly and managing your sizing correctly so always always ask yourself the fundamental question how do i fail and how do i reverse engineer it and start working down that that path and you'll be more successful